morning stretching on the couch. Morning stretches with a baby. Good morning, the baby. Oh, wow. It's snowing, baby. Yeah, it's snowing. This one looks spoiled. I say my positive affirmations as I open these and I think of love as I open up my products. Tongue scrape, homemade mouthwash, uh, toothpaste and flossing oil. And that's that. Cheese. I had a, a clean. I'm going to use this.
여기까지 I'm gonna go outside after this, okay? Let me smooth. So that's part of my morning routine. The first part is really about connection, connecting to my body, connecting to my mind, connecting to my spirit um, through these different tools. Look at this. You doing yoga now? He was doing downward dog. You were gonna go outside. Yeah. So now I'm gonna go outside with Moose and get some fresh air, connect to the sun, connect to the earth. Now it's snowy, so I touch the earth with my hands. Uh, usually I would go um, earthing with my feet, um, but just really connecting to the elements of earth. And then after that, I'm gonna nourish my body with food and supplements, uh, depending on what my deficiencies are. I just got uh, blood work done and a blood microscopy and allergy test. So I'm like, I have like specific things I'm working on. I don't do everything all the time. Like sometimes if I have to step out of the house, I'll do like just specific things. Like let's say sometimes I won't have time to journal in the morning, but I'll do it at night. Um, but I try and do everything. Like I am human. I'm, I'm not saying that I 100% do this every morning, but I'm pretty good at it. Um, like the meditation I do every day, connecting to my body I do every day and connecting to uh, my spirit so saging or going to my altar and saying an intention um and then the meditation really helps with my mental and my emotions just to see where I'm at when I wake up um but I just I just want to touch on that it's not always like exactly like this sometimes it differs sometimes I'm way more doing way longer yoga if I'm feeling tight 
or sometimes I'll meditate much longer or I'll journal much longer if I'm just going through maybe some harder emotions in my life or personal life. Um, and then sometimes maybe if I don't have enough time in the morning, I don't like that expression because we make time for things. Um, but if I haven't made time for um, something, then maybe I'll, I'll go do, like let's say like yesterday I had an appointment at 8 a.m. So I went to my appointment and then I came back and I journaled a bit more. Um, so those are things that, like, I just want to be realistic and show you guys, like, the reality of it. But now I'm going to go walk my dog because he has to pee too. And I'll take you along with you. So I like to go for a walk in the morning. Obviously, I have my dog. But even when I didn't have my dog, I liked to... Oh, well, he's actually a puppy. <laughs> he's huge. Um... But I liked going for a walk because um, even before breakfast, just to get things moving um, and to connect to nature, the sun, the earth, and to also um, like support our lymphatic system and support our hormones and stuff. Walking is really, really good, um, especially in the morning and a consistent walk. So I try, it's not too long, honestly. I try and do at least 10 minutes. This guy's peeing. But yeah, that's what I do. I try to wake up early or I don't try. Like I don't wake up with an alarm half of the time. Sometimes I have to if I have like appointments and stuff. But I normally wake up, my body normally wakes up at 7. So like right now in the winter. Um, and I just let my body do that. But in the summer, I like to wake up closer to 5, 6. Just so that I can spend a lot of time with the sunrise and so that I can um just be out and about like early because I don't know I just love summer and I love waking up with the sun I think it's really important for our circadian rhythm and our hormones and but yeah this is what I like to do it's so beautiful it's snowing right now and I can see the blue skies <laughs> connecting to nature it's so important it's really grounding. So this is really my part to ground and I'll normally go hug a tree <laughs> and uh, I will also, ah, this is the tree I'm hugging today. Look at it. So this is my morning tea with three bags of turmeric, um, about one to two tablespoons of honey, and then a whole lemon juice with 9.5 pH living water. This tea is super supportive to the digestive system and also the immune system and just to help things going on, like get going with the warmth of the tea, especially that it's winter, you wanna stay warm in your body um, because it's cold outside and you don't want inside to be cold and like um you wanna you we can control our insides and that is like the style and technique of health and self-care that you want because like even with like cold dips like in cold showers it's about keeping like not letting the outside affect your insides right so if like keeping it aligned keeping it vital keeping it warm um to help things going because when things are cold they like kind of like the blood vessels constrict and things like that so you want to keep things open and so it helps with energy and digestion and all that fun stuff so i'm going to drink my tea and then do a bit more journaling and after that i'll make food so i just got ready put a little makeup on and got to go i'm just doing deliveries today so
keeping it chill and comfy because I'll be in the car. I live in the country, so um, to go anywhere is pretty far. So I'm going to make a shake and um, that's going to be my nourishment for breakfast. And then later I'll make lunch when I come back. So I got my shake and I'm going to start my day. Okay, this is my fries. The baby puppy. You going to have a good day? Yeah. I hope you have a beautiful day. And um, that's my morning routine. All about... Um, connection, hydration, embodiment, grounding, and nourishment. Those are like the frequencies that I want. So sometimes the specific actions may change a little bit depending on where I am and what I'm doing, the time that I have. But those are my consistent, consistent frequencies that I want to embody in the morning so that my day is like that. Um, so again, connection, grounding, embodiment, nourishment, and I would add a hydration in there, but I think you guys saw that, but that's really connection, connecting to my body and we are water and earth. And so by hydrating and nourishing, um, like by just focusing on the frequency of connection, I am hydrating and I am nourishing like with good food and good water, because when I connect to my body, I connect to the water in me and the earth elements I mean, the earth element and the energies that I'm, I am. So love and light and all of those things. So that's why the details don't matter so much. It's just really about the frequency that you're holding and presenting and embodying. So I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you in the next video.